Hi, thanks for clicking on this video. What we have today is a circular patio work for a client. Hopefully you can watch and enjoy and get something out of it. So, rainy day, you guys, maybe you can see in the video. So, um, there's only really one way to start. I mean, get your shape, but uh, you got to excavate the area. And I'm digging it out, putting it on a wheelbarrow, putting it in a truck, taking it away. And this is a finished product here, excavated. Now, we went down about six, seven inches. Um, so whatever in that is in your uh, dimensions you use. But um, I, I, I can't really recommend one way or the other. That's just what I go by and where I live and the part of the country I live in, the part of the world I live in, the weather we have, that's what's recommended. Um, where you live in the world it, 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 it may be different but just go with check it out uh, see if there's a code whatever so I, I'm just showing a brick kind of just for some visual how deep I went but um, you're gonna have to do something you're gonna have to get a base in there right and um, again whatever is recommended for your area what we have here is crushed gravel um, it's readily available uh, it, it packs really well, especially when it's wet. <laughs> but uh, the rain's kind of help, helping us out here. I put a conduit in. It, that's not a necessary, but it's something the client wanted. A, a conduit for um, water or electrical out to the patio. So it, it's a good idea if you're putting something in. The video speeded up here, but we're using some mechanical compaction. Um, you can rent this machine. It's it, again, it's not a, it's not necessary. You can pack it manually just with time and packing it with boards or stepping on it or whatever but it's a lot easier that way for sure uh, I got some coarse sand here uh, again it's what's available to us locally um, and you, um, take some time get work this get this as level as you can this is the most basic way to do it is just a, a straight edge uh, you can see I'm gouging it out there but um, a straight edge, a straight board, and screed it um, however you want, but perfectly. Uh, no, no I'm, I'm saying level. I, 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 that's actually incorrect. It, it, it's whatever your grade is. Um, I, I always put a little crown so water runs off my patios, but um, and, and just work that in. So just just straight. Um, use the grade that's in the in the yard already, or, or what you're working with, um, and and we're just. Uh, whatever this is a, a, a design the the homeowner chose is kind of a full uh, flagstone it, it it puzzles in there so we're just going with it but you see there's a piece of cobble there and then our, our cuts so simply enough cut the shape you need so uh, we, we put put it a put in a full brick and just um, a marker or a pencil or whatever uh, the shape and in this case is a circle so we're just cutting in circles and Again, this is a saw um, you can rent. Um, uh, it's, again, probably the easiest way to cut it. And then I'm putting in sand, and I I, I build patios, how the Romans build the patios, and just, just with, with, a, with sand packed in. Of course, there's polymer sand, which um, I'm sure a lot of people recommend. Um, I've never been called back to a patio that has had sand packed into the joints and I've seen a lot of patios where polymer sand has failed and I've been uh, called not necessarily, not necessarily my job but other people's jobs called to to fix that and to repair it so th that's just my experience but uh, you may love polymer sand um, or polymetric sand it might be good I didn't show this step I forgot to film it but edging super important I'm using a, a, a metal edging um, it usually comes in plastic when I like this metal spike it in these are I think 10 inch spikes 12 inch spikes uh, every foot or foot and a half um, and uh, and it, it keeps all your bricks tight and when it compacts it, it'll push everything out it'll force that sand in uh, you don't, again you don't have to use mechanical compaction for the sand you can just keep sweeping it in but it, it takes time and step back and enjoy your patio and clean up your cuts last step here uh, hold back a little bit of loam and just um, kind of backfill that in 
Um, you can saw that or seed it, or the grass will grow in super quick. But um, this is this is the patio. Um, light was really bright that day. A lot of shadowing. Um, camera was having a hard time really picking up the how uh, great the patio looked. You can see a little spot there that that's for some future steps. And I'm just going to show you where that conduit comes out. But just as a final little bonus, we just put a little a irrigation box there. And uh, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Good luck making your patio. Oh no.